I'm Cricket Tisha. I'm a kitchen manager at Fair Share. This is Tanya. She's assistant kitchen manager and Joss, our production manager. Um, at the moment, we're experiencing a greater demand for all our meals, um, primarily uh, due to COVID um, and also due to other agencies which were producing meals last year, um, but they ceased doing that in January. Um, this overwhelming demand, um, we're very lucky to have Elizabeth Andrews helping us out to produce more meals at the moment. Uh, people who will be receiving these meals range from the homeless, um, elderly, people living on their own, um, families. Uh, we also deliver to a lot of um, yeah, frontline charities who help international students and there's also um, the Indigenous community that receives a lot of our help as well. And Xander here from Elizabeth Andrews and I just wanted to say uh, a big shout out to Fair Share for doing such a great job and helping people at need during this time. And Elizabeth Andrews is very grateful and honoured to be part of this process, particularly because we have this great facility here and we're not using it as much because our, our sales are down by about 90% at the moment. Andre is doing the noodles. Duncan's on the fresh veg. Yep. Karen's doing the uh, frozen veg. Karen. Yep. <laughs> Paul's doing the spice. And all things nice. That's right. <laughs> Graham's doing the corn. How many litres in there, Paul? 185. 185 litre rat pan. This is a food composter. All the food scraps go in here. This can take about 150 kilos of food scraps per day. Let's have a look inside and what happens. Food scraps. And about a day later, this is what we get out. It's like soil. Here at Elizabeth Andrews, we're cooking for fair share. Hello Andre. So what we do is we cook stir fry 80 degrees in our glass chiller, turn it on, come to temperature in about half an hour, two degrees, and then we pack it up and send it out for the deliveries. Thank you. So when we've cooked everything, it all comes into, into here to cool off. First we've got the noodles, even more noodles. This is some chicken that we've yet to cook, that'll be going in shortly. And then we've got some curry that we've made. And we're now packing the food into bags, ready to be frozen and shipped out. We've got Emma from Fair Share and Andre from Elizabeth Andrews. Honey soy chicken and vegetable noodles. Oh, very good. Duncan and Cricket backpacking the bags down. So Cricket, how many uh, meals have we made today? We've made about a thousand meals, which is a thousand meals that we would not have had were we not cooking in this kitchen with your wonderful staff giving up their time. Is that because you're you're done enough equipment, enough food or enough staff to do it all? Uh, we just don't have enough staff to do it all. Okay, so Elizabeth Andrews is helping out with the uh, staffing and the facilities. That's right. Uh, that's great. So an extra thousand people fed today, which is great, hungry Absolutely people. Absolutely amazing. And, and who does your food go to? So our food gets distributed. We distribute some of our food uh, and Second Bite distribute a large portion. Uh, and How many different charities would get your food? About a hundred. hundred different charities? 100, yeah. In Victoria or around Australia? In Victoria. Okay. Mm. Oh, great. Fantastic. Yeah. We do deliver around Australia through Second Bites. And Cricket, where does all this food come from? So, the bulk of our food comes from donations, uh, rescue food. We have trucks which go out to hundreds of woolly stores all around Melbourne and they pick up food that would otherwise go to waste. That we bring it back, we sort it out. Uh, so we get meat, vegetables, eggs. So you have a number of suppliers that your main suppliers will work. It is. A big thank you to Woolies. Oh for my Woolies. gosh, we would not be doing what we do without Woolworths stores, I can tell you. That's fantastic. fantastic. Thank you, Woolies. Thanks, Woolies. So Deb, you're the pastry chef here at Elizabeth Andrews and I believe during the lockdown you've been doing a bit of work at Fair Share, is that correct? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, it's been great to get down to their kitchen in Abbotsford Street uh, and just to basically help out, lend a hand prepping whatever needs to be done. And Cricket, um, would you like more people to help out from corporates 
to come and help in your uh, production facilities? Absolutely. So we have uh, positions for corporate crews up to 15 to come into our kitchen. You'll be making pastries, you'll be chopping vegetables, doing prep, packing. Uh, the, the, the sessions go for about three and a half hours and uh, it's just booking in with our wonderful volunteer coordinator, Rosie. So, day two, fair share, Elizabeth Andrews. Duncan, this was your idea originally. It was. Um, what was the concept? Um, well, the kitchen has finished its production by nine o'clock every day, so we thought, well, we may as well use up the access capacity. All of the yeah. Elizabeth Andrews and Brisk staff, they come in and they volunteer their time. What you just saw is the stuff we're going to cook today. This is the thousand meals that we did yesterday, and Tom's come to collect it all. 